Hi student, let's continue. Uh, let's go back to our uh, class material. So we are going to define function d1 f. So let's copy this part into Google Collaborator again. So this link. So let me add code over here. And then enter. So let's analyze what this function is about again. So let's open MS Paint. And then this one. Yeah, this is a bit long. Yes, so let's analyze this one. Well, so this is this is six argument. So it is a black shoulder button D1 function. Well, so first we define F. F is basically futures price. This is a futures price. So it is mass dot. So it is AXP. So it is exponential function of R minus DIV big T minus small t, and the ST, okay, what it is. So let's take, let's see it. So here, so what it shows is that, wait, uh, what it shows is that, well, it is the, the famous D1 function, so home, and then let's use this one. So first this F part, so, this one, this one is f equal exponential of here r minus div power power of big T minus small t multiplied by st, big S T. So it is multiplied by over here as t. Okay. So here I'm gonna explain this one again, but let me explain this. Okay. Uh, we will gonna review this again, but this is basically forward price or future price. Forward price. Okay. Forward price. Let me write down again. Forward price. And the E is about exponential. This R, this R is basically risk-free rate, risk-free rate, annualized. Everything annualized over here. And this is the dividend rate per year, annual dividend rate, dividend rate. And the, this big T, Big T is maturity. This small T is like today, pricing date. This is a date at which you want to calculate pricing. Price, so pricing date. And this ST, this ST is basically ST is stock price. Actually, it is general other price, but let's say it is stock price. Stock price at small t. Well, in the class, in the class, we will gonna learn why Ford price looks like this. But for the time, let's memorize Ford price looks like this. Actually, there is multiplication over here, multiplication, and then multiplication. This is let's delete this one. But Ford price. So this is for the price. And then here, now D1. Now define D1 over here. D1 equal, we have first log, get okay, log. So log, log of, actually it's natural log. So, so the base is exponential, exponential. Oil constant this E is the base of the log function. So anyway, it is the f. We define f over here, right? This f over here. 
so we define f over here right so this is f over k well what is k i'm going to explain shortly k is basically exercise price okay i'm going to explain again plus 0 0.5 so it is one half one half of sigma square okay sigma square so actually let's write down over here usually so sigma square and then t minus t multiplied by big t minus small t okay big t minus small t small t we define big T and small T, whatever. Big T is mature T and small T is the frightening day we are interested in, I think. And we have square because of the power, right? This part. Sigma to the power of 2, okay? And then because we have 0 0.5, so it is 2. Okay, so over, so we have this one, so this is over. Now we have a sigma over here, sigma. And then we have a root, square root, of big T minus small t. Okay? Right? So, well, so if we put S T K small t, big T, R, sigma, T, F, it calculates this one, and this function returns D1. Okay? D1. So here, I'm going to explain again, but... To explain this is f is the forward price forward price here this is k this k is exercise price exercise price well i'm going to explain about exercise price in the off price but k is called exercise price and sigma sigma is called volatility annualized volatility okay so it is annualized annualized okay and we define big t and small t big t is the mature today small t is the pricing day okay and then d1 okay d1. okay now so let's continue so this one now let's continue to the uh, next one. Now next one is we're gonna now define the valuation function. So here, let's add the text. Now let us write down valuation function, PSM valuation for black, George Martin valuation function, which is now let's add code. Ah, this one. Let me move down with code and then copy and paste this line. Ah, this looks long, but okay. Over here. Yes. Okay. Okay, so, yeah, here, BSM call value, again, this is the function of ST, stock price as small t, K exercise price, small t pricing date, big T, maturity, R risk rate, sigma, volatility, dividend, dividend rate, and we have three apostrophe so the computer cannot read from here to here right three three so computer basically cannot read this right so it is a useful note so it explains this code calculate black short button european core option value okay parameters so there's input st again float float is a real number float is basically real number real number float value it is like a stock price at times multi or index price so small t and k so again float number the strike price or also called exercise price same 
and it is a float and a valuation date, pricing date, okay? The date at which you want to calculate price. So pricing date and the big the float date of maturity, time to maturity, maturity date. If of course small t is zero, it becomes time to mature. So big T minus small t, over here big T minus small t, something like this. So this is called time to maturity. And of course, big T should be always greater than small t. R is some constant float and is riskless short rate or risk free rate over here. And sigma is volatility and dividend, dividend rate. Okay, and it returns. So it calculates core option value. So let's analyze code. So it has D1. Okay, so D1F, we define the D1F over here, right? D1F over here. So it is D1. D1 is in the D1F input variable. And D2 is D1 minus sigma square root big T minus T. And F is our, the for the price, the core value looks like this one, okay? So let's analyze this code now. Let's get copy. Let's copy only this part. And then it return core value. It return core value. Core value is this one. So let's analyze this part. Okay. And then paste. Okay. So here, core value, okay, so we can analyze this one. So here, this is very interesting part. So core value, core price, basically core price, which is, so basically core price, oh, this is too thin, okay. The core price, so core value, core value, Core value is some sort of exponential of minus power of r, okay, and big T minus small t, and then we have a big parenthesis over here, and f multiplied by n d1, right? We define n, right? We define n function k and d2 right here now what is n we have f over here f is defined over here here f is basically e to the minus r dividend rate big t minus small t for the price multiplied by st right and then we have a d1 d1 is this one and d1 D1 is basically this one, which is, if you recall, it is just uh, sigma root big T minus small t log f over k plus 2 to the power of sigma square big T minus small t. Okay. Oh, this is too close, so let's move this one slightly. Let's move this one slightly. Okay, this one looks better, isn't it? Okay, looks like this one. We and then T two. We have over T two over here, and T two is here. T two. Ah, sorry. The T two. T two is simply T one minus here sigma. Sigma root square root of some big t minus small t, right? So again, again, this is the, it compute the forward price, forward price. So, the, our formula, our formula for core option value, actually it is called European value of European core option, looks like this, so it is formula formula. So value of core option is some discounted value. So this entire part is actually discounting. 
right here is your familiar this one right this entire part is actually discounting this is actually discounting you discount this entire part this entire part you discount this entire part right uh, discounting this is discounting factor discounting factor and you are not discounting this entire this part you want to discount this number in the parentheses what do you want to discount for the price multiply n t1 to recall n is n is this is a cumulative cumulative cumul sorry cumulative probability density function right so this is as I explain again this one right size of this area let's say this is x this is size of this area and the x right and the k and you know everything right this is just formula well there is a uh, we can well this looks complicated but it is fine correlation value is a discounted value of something inside the parentheses so about this part i will explain this part in the class okay so in order to not forget Let's copy and paste this part in the class note. Okay, so let's go back to our class note. So let's put this class note over here. Okay. Okay, over here. And actually, why don't we copy and paste this one as well? So, so that you don't have to write down everything. Okay. So I just write copy and paste this one and this one. So you don't have to write down everything. Okay, this looks cool. So okay, this is the core option value. Now we can also calculate put option value. So this part is put option value. So now let's can copy and paste this one. Copy and paste this one. Actually we can run this one. Well it works fine. So function for actually for call and put call and put options and then let's add code over here and now put option value again to calculate put option okay black shoulder button put option value again the input variable is st today's stock price flow stock price they are the same so why don't you just copy and paste this one from here to here, over here, because they are basically same, right? Same, yes, I copy and paste. And then put a few European put present value T is, looks like this one, so let's analyze this one. So put option value. Put value is gain. Put option value. Well, this is doesn't look so pretty, but well, so pretty. So actually, I want to copy and paste this one so to make it pretty. So again, this one and copy and paste over here. Okay. So well, this looks quite similar to. Okay, somewhat similar to, oh, what is going on, okay. Again, okay. yeah, again, let's copy and paste again, so, whew, okay. 
Okay, this looks quite similar to the uh, corrosion. The intuition is very similar. So let's write down what this code means. Code means. So what this code means is that. Could means is that so put value of put option value of put option is actually we start from core option value so basically core value right core option value core option value minus okay so this one we change line if we put this on we can change line over because it is too long if we write this one in one line it is too long right so for example, well, we don't, we can write this way, but you know, this is uh, too long, right? Doesn't look so nice. So that's why we put this one over here and you can change the line. So minus, and anyway, we change the minus. So this is exponential of, exponential of actually minus R some discount part t minus small t or f minus k okay so actually so this means that if we know core option value we can derive put option value from it actually another interesting write down is that we can move this one over here and this one over here so then what we have very interesting relationship core value minus put value equal so move over here some discounting so e minus r t minus small t of f minus k That's right so we have an interesting relationship core option value minus put option value equals discounted value of for the price minus exercise price so this is basically Called this relationship called put call parity. Very, 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 very important relationship put call parity, which means that core option value value minus put option value value equals equals discounted value of forward price minus strike price or exercise price strike price very 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 important relationship very very this is very very important very very important and then let's copy this one and put this one into our class note our class note over here So, yes, now we have class note over here, this one, this one, okay? Now, up to this point, we defined all the formula. We implemented all the formula for the co European call option value and European put option values. Now, next, we can check whether, let's check whether this code looks properly or not. So. Let's go back to Google. So, at text, now we implemented PSM, Black Shoji Martin formula for European call and put option values. Okay? Next. Let us simulate, let us simulate the the option values. Okay, option values. And let's add code. Let's add code. And then 
and then class note and the simulation is this part so let's copy this one over here and then here here let's say the code Okay. Yes. Mm, this is interesting. Uh, I'm not sure why there's something wrong with indentation error. Well, let me run again. Hmm. Okay, one, two, three, four. Okay, one, two, three, four. Let's change the line. Then let's run it. I'm not sure why we have indentation error over here. Over here, but um, yeah, there is some sort of indentation error. So, well, yeah. I don't know what is going on, but let me delete this part. And then try it again. Yeah, now it is fine. So there is, must be something wrong with indentation of uh, this part. So let me copy and paste this one again. This sometimes happens. So, well, this indentation part again. This, this one. Let me. Ah, always this kind of things happens. Now let's run. Yeah, this one something wrong with this one. indentation error one two three four four oh, this is a pain yeah now it works okay it works okay now always in Python the indentation is very important always you have to have four four space bars okay and then let's take a look at it now let's simulate Let's say strike price is $8,000 and big T, much rot is 1, and which is actually time to much, which means that, which means, which means T, let's say small t is 0, and our risk free rate is 0.5%, now volatility is 0.2. And dividend is 0 0.0, it is uh, 0 0.1 percent, okay? Now, let's generate, uh, let's generate uh, stock price. So, basically, we want to calculate, we want to calculate, uh, we want to calculate corruption price for many underlying asset, underlying stock price. So, this one means, Let's see. This one is actually right. It means it start from four thousand and it ends with twelve thousand, and the line between them is one hundred fifty, one hundred fifty grid. 
so we have 150 grade so for this 150 values 150 values we want to calculate 150 corrosion price right so for each for so for each this stock price we want to calculate corrosion price so and that is h is inner value of option so it is the s minus k which is called inner value of the option which means that here core option it is a valuable core option core option means it is a contract core option is basically contract such that you can buy some asset at price k so core option is right to buy stock at price k so it is right not obligation so if this stock price is below k then you can buy something expensive at lower price so you exercise this option but if k is greater than s you don't want to pay k for s when k is greater than s then you don't want to exercise the option so the value is zero okay so it is called inner value option it is a profit of your core option contract profit if profit of your core option contracts if you exercise core option right now okay now this is c let's delete uh, okay okay this is c is now we calculate this black shows your core option value over here black shows your core option value given s0 stock price k 0 t r follow through 10 dividend for s0 in s s is this we defined so for each s s is like this one this one for each s we have or we did calculate c okay so let's take a look at what it looks like and then we run it so it calculates core option value for each for each stock price all right so it looks like this one now mm, let's take a look let's generate graph let us generate plot for the simulated core option value above okay then let's go to our code now this one this one generate output Generate up a copy and let's add a code. Oh, we put below, cell below, over here. Okay, and then graphical output. So let's take a look at it. So, figure. So, we declare here that we are going to generate figure and then we are um, going to show the plot for S h okay we are going to plot h h is over here for given s okay so this is line length and inner value okay now we add another plot we add another plot for s and c okay for given s we generate c c is over here c is over here c now this is b this is blue uh, this one I'm gonna explain this. It means blue and line dot, and we are going to red, and line width is 2.5, and label is present value, and then we are gonna show the grid, grid, and then we are gonna show, we will going to show legend of this graph, such that in legend location is zero. Zero means that it is top left. Okay, it is top left. Legend says that about X label, X label is index label S0. Okay, this is location zero is this one. Okay, this one. 
as 0 and then present value this one so it is x label over here and y label over here so let's take a look at graph so see see okay so we have this grid all right we have this grid which is legend of grid grid is true now this red dot red line red line is this one this is basically red one is a present value which is this one present value label right plat sc and label print label we give a label and it's red if you want to change into green well you will have this green you have now green line over here let's write it here red now it is red line now this one h function h function is look h function is s minus k zero so for given it so this is k value so it is rectified it is rectified linear function over here so if we delete this one okay then it is just a straight line but you know it doesn't look so good so we want maybe a dot if we put dot then it looks like this is a lot of dots but this is again not good and we put line Oh, line is same so we put line dot line dot and then line and dot minus sign and dot then we have like this one this looks much better so it generates this beautiful ref so this one this one is inner value this blue one this one over here it shows h function we defined over here h value and this one this one is yeah this red line it shows a C value over here, C values. And then about this one, location of legend, top left over here. And then we have X label, Y label over here. X label is this one. And Y label, oh, sorry, sorry. X label is this one. Index level S0. And the present value C0 is Y label. Okay. If you put dollar sign over here, it is called latex. And it is like a basically mathematical. Uh, it shows value looks like mathematical values. Okay. About 2.5. If you change this one into five, five, then well you have a lot thicker one, right? This is two times thicker. So it is going to look good. But again, let's say it is 2.5. It is thinner. Okay. Let's make it thicker. So like a 12. It is huge. It is a very thick line. Well, ah, this is look terrible, isn't it? So let's delete this one. So this is the uh, nice way. I think this is nice way to learn Python. Actually, it is a nice way to learn both Python and plug shell formula together. Okay, one shot to kill. Professor out.